Hi, I'm Dale from Beaver Valley Woodworking. This project is the Roadside Memorial. I built this out of cedar. I choose cedar because it's naturally rot resistant and it lasts a lot longer than, see than uh, green treated. Then plus when you buy green treated the wood is wet and I didn't have time to wait for that wood to dry so cedar was my choice. So the letters, I bought those from Michael's uh, hobby store. And the pirate flag, I made that out of uh, cedar, which was left over from the cedar 2x4. So, here it is. Well, time to get on to the build. Cutting one piece at 48 inches and cutting the other one at 30 inches. The leftover piece, we're going to save that for later. Half of the 2x4 is 1 and 3 quarters. Then went 2 inches down to create the crosshairs. I'm making three arcs with the compass. The compass is set at one and one eighth of an inch radius. Measuring in five eighths of an inch and making my marks. Using a straight edge to connect the dots. Got the cut lines on the 30 inch and the 48 inch, so now it's time to cut them out. Using the edge sander to get rid of the saw blade marks that was left from the band saw. Now I'm going to have to find the center. Basically it's two and one quarter. Divide that by two, that's one and an eighth. Then you go four inches high on both sides. Connect the dots. Made my marks for the peak that's going to go into the ground. When I do dados and half lap joints on my table saw, this is how I do it. I put a sacrificial fence on my miter gauge, making sure that the miter gauge is squared up with the dado stack. I run it right through to create a dado. And one thing I do is I draw lines coming from the edge of that dado up. I do that on both sides. I do that so this is when I do my half my half lap. I can line it right up. Do my cut. Right all, all the way over to your next line. Do your cut. Well, we're going to grab what's left of the cedar 2x4. We're going to cut 6 inches off. Cutting two one-eighth inch strips out of that cedar 2x4, that's going to make up the skull and crossbones and the pirate flag. One thing I did is I photoshop a skull and crossbones. So now I'm going to have to trace it on a piece of paper. So what I'll do, piece of paper, tape it right on the computer screen. And just have to trace it all out. Sure, the hell ain't no artist, but it's close enough. Using spray adhesive to attach a skull and crossbones tracing to the wood. Skull 
for the flag. I'm putting primer on the uh, wood, so this way I won't have issues in the long term as far as any issues with the paint. Well, on this project, I had to put some uh, stickers on their numbers. So what I did was I took a scrap piece of plexiglass, about the same width as across, two and a quarter. By doing it this way, you can actually move the, the numbers and find the perfect location where you're going to be placing them. And I also know that the letter H is going to be right, right here in the middle, so I can line it up. Put my machine square there, right on the edge of the number zero. Yep, perfectly lined up. Now I can slide the plexiglass off. Basically you're just doing this all over again. I use a 564 inch drill bit to make the pilot hole so this way the wooden letters will not split. Got to paint the nail heads over with some paint. One mistake I did was I should have uh, painted the skull crossbones right away before I put it on the flag but a little too late the glue's already dry so I taped everything off and I'll paint the skull and crossbones. Use a sharpie to draw out the outline. I'm all out of uh, black uh, paint so I'm using spray paint in a brush. Well, here you are folks, the final project, the Roadside Memorial Cross. It was a, pro a project that I ended up building for a customer who lost her son in an automobile accident. So, and uh, I try my best to get videos out, but I can't make any guarantees if I can do it up every week, because sometimes life just gets in the way. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to check me out on all the social media things I'll have at the end of the video. Uh, this way you know what's going on. Till next time, be creative and take care. You can follow Beaver Valley Woodworking on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Geek and beaver valley woodworking .com. Thanks for watching.